There is so much more to life than technology, and the glow of your phone should never be more prominent than the glow of the sun. Gwinnett County Parks are dedicated to getting people of all ages involved with the Gwinnett community and getting people out and active to enjoy the beautiful environment at close range instead of close screen. With over 40 parks scattered throughout Gwinnett, there is always a park nearby for the whole family to enjoy. First on our roadmap is Collins Hill Park, an amazing 95-acre park filled with assorted athletic fields, including a football field overlay, a sizable sand volleyball court, basketball courts equipped with lighting, seven baseball or softball fields, and an aquatic center located close by for swimming laps or just good-hearted fun. This is all not to mention the one and a half mile soft surface trail for runners, walkers, bicyclers, and nature lovers alike to put the community right in the middle of the astounding Collins Hill Park environment. When I swam for the Collins Hill swim team, we used the Collins Hill Park Aquatic Center for practice. It's a great pool to swim at and to play at. We also, we, me and my friends also used to go to the sand volleyball courts at the Collins Hill Park to play volleyball. We spent a lot of time there and it was real fun. Next up is Rabbit Hill, a location perfect for school sports teams, especially soccer enthusiasts. With eight soccer fields and 109 acres, this park is perfect for you and your pooch. Rabbit Hill's dog park is a key feature of this park, where pups can play all day with their human companions. If you're in it for a long run, Rabbit Hill comes armed with a two and a half mile multi-purpose trail that is great for dog walks and human runs. As to not forget the children, Rabbit Hill also supplies a playground that can entertain little kids from sun up to sundown. Here we are at Rabbit Hill Park. It's a great park. As you see behind me, there's soccer fields. Both my sons, Zach and Noah, played here. They enjoyed soccer. There's all kinds of walking trails. I like to get out and walk myself. You can bring your bike and ride. Trails, fishing, and disc golf. Oh my! Little Mulberry Park is the ideal spot for the family in touch with their natural side. Little Mulberry Park offers a scenic fishing lake, which is wrapped around by one of nine of the picturesque trails. The different lengths and difficulties of trails at Little Mulberry are great for cross-country runners, race training, or a whole family bonding over the beautiful nature reserve throughout the trails. The most unique feature of this park is an 18-hole disc golf course, a crazy fun game for a group of friends. You won't find this at most typical parks, so give it a shot and get active with disc golf at Little Mulberry. Little Mulberry Park is one of my favorite parks because the trails are perfect for training for cross country. As a runner, I feel very pushed on my limits on certain trails, but the scenic beauty of the park is enough to make me run them again even after I finish. I really appreciate that I live in a county that maintains such stunning nature preserves. These three parks make up only a small part of the amazing Gwinnett Park system, yet stand to show what a lot of people miss because they do not take the time to back away from electronics and explore their own community. For those who wish to break this barrier and aid the ecosystem, Gwinnett Parks offer volunteer opportunities for people who wish to help out in making Gwinnett County Parks an even better place. Gwinnett Park volunteers promote a cleaner environment and encourage society to engage in the community park establishment. In general, the parks right around the corner offers a fantastic opportunity to get out and explore your environment in a safe territory. The park system offers more than most expect, with various programs for toddlers through to seniors, summer camps for children, and events taking place year-round to engage the Gwinnett County community. Gwinnett County Parks were a great resource for me when I was a stay-at-home mom and my children were young. I used to take them and we would go to different Gwinnett area parks specifically Collins Hill, Rabbit Hill, and Ridge Jordan. We would go to the playground. It'd be a great way to get the kids outside, let them play, get some exercise, and 
fresh air. It was good socializing time with other families. Oftentimes we would pack a picnic and take bread to feed the ducks at the lake at Consul Park. It's just a great place for families to get out and about and go to town. With nearly 10,000 acres of parkland, it's no wonder that families and friends come to the park on a regular basis for bonding time and just to enjoy the great outdoors. As Lady Bird Johnson once said, the environment is where we all meet, where all have a mutual interest. It is the one thing all of us share.